This is Christy Northrup, the Lemonade Lady, reporting to you from Illinois on the banks of the Mississippi River. Well, maybe about a mile from the river. As I'm preparing to show you about growing your business by dividing, I'm looking out over here at the farmer's fields next to me, and I see acres and acres of soybean. Now, I might feel overwhelmed and think, well, why should I be planting something when I'll never be able to be like the farmer out there? Well, you know what? I don't want to be like the farmer out there. I don't want to have big crops. I am just really happy with my little herb garden and my tomato plants. So don't look at other leaders in your company and say, well, how come I can't be like them? Do what you want to do. And you can still be really prosperous as I show you the progress of the plants. Now remember, this was my main plant right here. These are the cuttings that I took off and I showed you their great root system. And now I've got them planted firmly in the soil. Each one has its own pot. Now this one, I went ahead and put two of the little clippings in there because I was reminded that often when you have someone that becomes a leader, that they have recruited somebody that's about where they are. And so they get to work together. They're not really creating their own team, but they get to build their teams together. So that little plant is building, those two are building their teams together. Then we've got another one over here. Now I put the miracle Grow in. I'm gonna just put a little bit more in here. But I made sure there's plenty of soil because too often people become leaders and they think, oh, I don't have to hold parties anymore. I don't have to recruit anymore. I'll just let my team do it. That is a huge fallacy. Just like you need water and good soil and fertilizer and sun, there's the same elements that you need in your direct selling business. That's always going to be that way. You always need to do the basics, holding parties, personal recruiting, keeping a strong personal business, and as you do that, then your team grows. Now, you may not need to hold as many parties because your other responsibilities uh, with leading your team will take some of your time, but actually parties are where you can really teach your team. So, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm ready to do another cutting off of this plant. So, here we go. Let's do a haircut, that's what I say, and I'm not somebody that does uh, hair. I just like to cut my plants down a little bit, All right? Because this is getting really tall again, so I'm going to uh, take one of my little stems. Now, I have got some wonderful basil leaves here. And as I said, I love bruschetta, so I think I'll just take these off you can start to profit from your uh, promote your people that you promote to leadership. So you're already getting checks from their performance, right? So I'm going to take those off, even this big one right here. These are ready to harvest. If you don't harvest them, then they'll just wither away and die. But the main thing is I want to keep those roots growing. So I'm just pinching them off. And one, also I don't want them to drown, the leaves to drown in the water. So this is what my little start, my little cutting looks like. And you might not think that your uh, person on your team is ready to become a leader, but give her or him a chance. Now I'm going to put it in the little lemonade jar. And I let one of those leaves just kind of anchor so that we'll let that start to create its own root system again. And once again, I have these wonderful basil leaves. I'm going to go add them to some pasta sauce maybe. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, take another couple of starts over here and I'm going to get I don't know if there was a little bug here that uh, got my my leaf so I want to take that off actually um, if you recall one of my videos I showed how I was starting to grow some cilantro and my a raccoon got it so I live out here in the corn fields and the soybean fields so I got to start that plant over again I will keep this one a little bit. We'll have to keep a couple leaves on this one. But I want to get rid of this one that looked like there might have been an infestation of a little insect. All right. Now, again, it's always fun when people start their own teams to not, they will start their own team, but it's fun to have a buddy. So I'm going to put those buddies there, right there in that lemonade glass. And I think I can maybe get one more. Now, I don't want to cut this down too much because remember, we need to keep this main plant healthy. And so, you know, I think just those two cuttings for right now